All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to add veggies to your kids' mac and cheese without them noticing. Um, I've tried every veggie. Uh, onion's okay if you, met, if you blend it up, but cauliflower's the best. Um, it actually enhances the flavor of mac and cheese, uh, which was a surprising thing to discover. So I start uh, usually with a medium-sized pot. This one's small for demonstration. Um, and. I just put uh, about a cup's worth of cauliflower in the pot. You can use rice cauliflower like I'm doing or just chunks of cauliflower, you can put them in there too. You'll just have to boil it for a little longer. Um, but again, I just use as little water as possible to save time. Um, once it's boiled and ready, which this one is, it's already been boiling for a little while, I just rinse it. And then I'm gonna put it into uh, my mason jar over here. really don't want a lot of water in it because that's going to make your mac and cheese a little runny. Okay, so then just scoop it into a mason jar or any container, whatever container you use with your immersion blender. I hope you have dumped your traditional blender by now. If you haven't, let me know and I'll make another video. Explain why traditional blenders are a waste of money and time and space. Okay, so here's my immersion blender. You just go in and you just mash, mush it up. <coughs> this also makes great baby food. You know, if you just want to give your kid mashed cauliflower. <coughs> I think that looks pretty good. It's all mashed up. I usually carry this to the sink so it's not dripping on the floor and then rinse this. Rinse it off. And of course you can wash it with soap and water, but we're doing something right now. Okay, so you have your mashed cauliflower. Now I've already made the mac and cheese. I usually make the cauliflower in this pot and then dump it out. Sorry, that's a little warm. I usually make the cauliflower in this pot and then dump it out so I can only, I only have to use one pot while I'm cooking. I don't have to clean two pots. Okay, so this is ready for the cauliflower and I'm going to add the cheese powder that comes with it and the butter. I'm not adding milk because the cauliflower is going to replace the milk. Okay. Usually I scoop that butter all the way to the bottom so it melts pretty fast. And um, I don't know if my kids notice or not. I don't think they do. I hope they don't see this video until, <laughs> you know. I hope they don't see it too early and stop eating this, but um, I really prefer this flavor to traditional mac and cheese. It is creamier and the cauliflower does enhance the flavor, so you might just try it for yourself too. Um, anyway, there you have it. You don't even, I mean, it's just, it's mac and cheese.